passion for being in the ocean is really my life and ever since I was a little kid it's just a place of solitude, a place of peaceful reflection on your own life. Every little thing has an effect on the ecosystem here. It's a global problem and we need some global action and global help. It's covered with plastic. And sometimes the birds eat that, little bits of plastic. The sad part is that we don't know all the effects on Hawaii that marine debris has. This is a tragic, you know, people don't want to think of Hawaii with its pristine beaches being covered by plastic, but this is happening around the world. They're not things that the Hawaiians or the people who live here have disposed of. My family is dying. My family is not dying of a natural cause. My family are dying of our cause, which is the human impact cause. This threat, this entanglement threat, the marine debris threat, is not a local threat necessarily, it's a global threat. It's big. We basically take about 10 tons off the beach today. There is a solution, as long as all of us do our part and talk about it to our friends and family, I think that there's hope. The great thing about this movement is that there is something all of us can do about it. I think all the athletes joining together and being conscious about our playground and our, and our livelihood and everything we do out here and it's been a real benefit, so it's been pretty, pretty solid. Hi, I'm Levi Siver. We're down here in Kaului. We're doing an Earth Day cleanup for Positive H2O. You come here and you see everybody helping out and cleaning up. And I mean, the beach looks really good. You know, when I first got here this morning, it was like so much trash here. I was amazed. I mean, there's so much plastic. I'm gonna swim down there in the harbor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna drop off that old tire. Saving the environment. This is my first cleanup. This is my first cleanup too, so yeah, thanks. because we live on an island, it's only so big, and I think it's just important to be a part of if you're a beach goer or a water enthusiast, why not? Come help out. <laughs> It's important to me to keep the beaches and ocean clean because this is where we live and for future generations and it's important to just be healthy and happy and give back to the land that we all live in and gives us so much. Positive HO! Awesome! And it's all gotta go. If it's not sand or a footprint, it's gotta go. Finding all sorts of stuff. I got 163 cigarette boxes. We're picking up the little tiny pieces of plastic on the beach. Ah, this is stuff that can be reused. Been loving the ocean for a long time and out there all the time. It's like giving back right here, it's just cleaning up wherever I can. You gotta mull over the land. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> help the island. You gotta keep the Help the land. You gotta keep them clean. So this is obvious why it's important to clean up because for them and for us, keep it clean. What did you guys find? Uh, all kinds of stuff. Lots of cigarette butts and 
like all kind of bunch of clothes. Yeah, clothes. All clothes. All clothes. One bed. Yeah. Two bags. About like and plastic, cigarette cigarette butt. Plastic, cigarette butt. Plastic, cigarette butt. Cigarette butt. Cigarette butt. Cigarette butt. Cigarette butt. Uh, a lot of cigarettes, a battery, and some a lot of plastic uh, utensils. Cigarette butts. Cigarette butts. We, Julia and I like to eat our fresh Maui wine caught ahi, and we <laughs> want them to be free of plastic. Well, we're always in the water. Um, we're windsurfers. We're surfers, and really feel strongly about keeping our beaches clean. There's a lot of uh, beach debris. A lot of things that we find um, and pick up normally, but it's great to have a community work day like this, so. We Nobody wants a dirty beach. That's right. You gotta prevent it. Don't do that. If you put it on the that's bad. Gotta keep it all the time, Come join us the next cleanups that we do around the island. Every little bit helps. Do your part.